Now, we go from teaching song and dance to studying geography as our next guest returned from a trip to America last year that was funded by the Royal Geographical Society. And to tell us more, we welcome blogger and traveller Daniel Evans. Thank you very much for coming in. Now, you don't want to call you Dan, do you? you no, Dan? Dan, Dan, brilliant. Good. I mean, what a trip that must have been. You're only just out of high school, 18 years of age, and you're travelling across America. I know. It was a wonderful opportunity from, for someone, as you say, you know, of that kind of age. Uh, and it was an opportunity I got from the Royal Geographical Society, uh, which provided me a great foundation for when I got back to do some to do some more work with them. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, is there a discipline there where you're not just there to have fun? You're not just there to be a tourist. What sort of when you say geographical work, what type of thing were you doing? Uh, in Alaska, for instance, my very first um, port of call on my scholarship, I was doing work with some groundbreaking work, literally groundbreaking work on this new formation, a rock glacier, but with a, a different kind of twist. I won't go into the, the science of it. <laughs> but it was this kind of groundbreaking work, uh, methane coming through frozen lakes, for example, wow. looking at global warming, and working with you know, people who I would eventually you know, see in the National Geographic, for instance, these kind of top names, in the ge geography discipline, working with some of those was fantastic. Yeah, and this has led you on to doing your own documentaries and your own YouTube channel, hasn't it? It has. I've always had a burning passion to share my love of geography with as many people as possible. Uh, and it's through the YouTube channel, it's through kind of filming documentaries that I've been able to do that. And it's, it's been fantastic. It's, it's really reached out to people who wouldn't otherwise have known what was on their doorstep. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And it's, I mean, there's such a wide variety of things encompassed in just geography. So for you, where, where's your passion? Well, my passion will be uh, in physical geography. Um, but recently, uh, I think also from coming from university, it's broadened my mind out to think about other kinds of geographies. Um, the geographies of, of everyday life, when you think about going on the way to work, you, yeah. you, you get a sense of the landscape around you and a sense that you are part of this one world. And it's, it's a fantastic area to explore. Wherever you are, there is geography to explore. Yeah, so he's only 20. I want to watch him every I week. I know. We could listen. You could teach <laughs> us so much. We were just saying, aren't my geography, I don't know. I enough, got an A in geography at more. school. Well done, Darren. Thank you. Well done. But I think Dan's going to beat you <laughs> slightly bad. on that. So, what are the plans next? Because I know you're still working with the same people. Will you, will you go on another big trip? Yeah, uh, well, my plans with the RGS, the Royal Geographical Society at the moment, is uh, in the publication of a book. Um, about the Sheringham to Weybourne up in North Norfolk um, glacial sediment. Uh, that will be a, a book that will be available for people in Norfolk who want to go around learning the geography of the area. Yeah. For those who want to be on their you know, computer or outside of Norfolk, I'm doing a, a new series at the moment. There's a 250 mile walk through Norfolk I'm undertaking at the moment. Uh, it's a 10 part series and that's coming out on the 24th of August on my blog. Oh, um, and, and that is a really good way of, I think, getting outside and exploring your neck of the woods, yeah. you know, going out on walk. And, and you seem very passionate about Norfolk as well as travelling across America, but you still seem very, your roots are set here. My roots are here. Uh, I've been brought up around the countryside here in Norfolk. You know, I always love this landscape. But, you know, you take me to any place on the earth, I'll find something there to explore and to love. Yeah. That's excellent. I love and, that And people idea. will find you as well. You've got some famous fans already. Well, I know Greg James um, tweeted me uh, on uh, on Twitter, you know, a couple of months ago. Yeah. That led on to my um, uh, me being on Viral Tap. That was the ITV2 show. Uh, that was that was on a couple of weeks ago, in fact. And you know, there are people out there now who are starting to get a sense of um, this is not just a you know, typical twenty-year-old mm. in his bedroom, you know, making movies. This yeah. is someone who's going out and exploring the area. I wanted to make a documentary from it and to teaching and to sharing his passion of geography yeah. with, with people. Well, I love you, Greg. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I love. Well, Greg. Where did you get your passion for geography from? Is it watching people like David Attenborough? Uh, it is, but also from, from my own, from my own student, you know, people who are around me mm. uh, in the classroom who said, oh, have you been there? And then, no, I haven't, and, and exploring people that way. But I think my biggest kind of passion you know, factor was from being in Norfolk. You know, it's yeah. a wonderful county, really strong flavour of countryside yeah. all around mm, us. Absolutely. And that is what I love about this area, and that's yeah. probably what's what's got me into just well, how exciting i look forward yeah. to the series and thank you so much for coming in no, thank and you having a chat it's great thank you dan